so i chosen a topic fog basking in beetle so we know the poem uh, by the rhyme of ancient mariner there's a water 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 everywhere all the boat did sink water water everywhere not any drop to drink so he is a famous uh, age person when he was uh, took a, um, sailing throughout the world so he traveled through the boat and he has seen so much of water but uh, not a drop uh, to drink because it is not good for a drinking purpose that shows the importance of water in a present situation so the earth surface contain more than 71% of water that is uh, again in that nearly 97% is ocean water that is salt water only uh, nearly 2.8% is eligible for drinking among that that to not in a ready to drink form that may be in a glacier ground water lakes and rivers some purpose, amount in atmosphere okay so well, nowadays water is called as a new oil because it is equally uh, fetches the value of a petrol or a diesel so among the 195 countries nearly 22 countries are facing severe water uh, shortages and also 31 countries are facing moderate to uh, moderate water stress we have the water but the only thing how best we can utilize how best we can conserve how best we can use for the human kind and even some of the situation we can see because of the incessant rainfall or frequency of the rainfall has gradually its widen frequency so it resulted in frequent drought and it become a challenging for a woman to get a water to take care of a household so even though we have seen some of the desert insect they have adjusted to the uh, low water condition so we have to take a certain uh, model from those insects or those creatures we, so we have to develop certain model certain principle we should come out from those models that is we called as a biomimetics that means we have to take the for every cell, uh, problem nature as a solution so some of the insects they are surviving in the desert they are very adjusted to that low arid condition low water problem so we will see how they have adjusted actually one thing is the cockroach desert cockroach it has survived five mass extinction and it could able to survive in those desert because it could able to absorb the moisture from the atmosphere through in modified uh, malfusion tubules similarly some of the uh, uh grasshopper and uh, crickets they are also adjusted to the by avoiding the direct exposure to sun and some insects they are like uh, they will be uh, growing underground during the day time so that they will uh, avoid the direct exposure to sun and uh, some insects they are social and uh, one of the important uh, beetle here is the onemacris species so that will harvest the atmospheric water through the fog basking uh, mechanism so today now we will concentrate more um, uh, most uh, mostly on the how this beetle the morphological features has modified how it could able to uh, harvest the moisture from the fog this is the story of a fog basking beetle how we can emulate this procedure uh, this principle for the benefit of human kind this my flow presentation so this uh, fog basking beetles uh, this principle we could able to see in namibian deserts so that is a single st uh, stretch of desert that is uh, nearly 2000 km long and it's a uh, southern part of the africa and uh, the southern uh, southern uh, southwestern part of africa so here in the desert the day temperature is uh, more than 60 degree and night temperature pass below 0 degree and uh, it's mainly it's a arid weather and uh, during the due to the cold temperature there uh, during the early morning and late night hours we could able to see the cool breeze that is converted into a, a fog conditions so this is the distribution of different forms of precipitation so hardly 20 days of rainfall we could be able to see in namibian desert that to less than 50 uh, mm of rainfall uh, throughout uh, throughout the year so mostly the moisture is mainly present in the form of uh, dew fog and saturated temperature 
so whatever the fauna is there so whatever the fauna is there so they are mostly they harvest the moisture from those fog or the saturated weather they may directly absorb the moisture or they will have the special mechanism to store the harvested water so what do you mean by a fog so fog is a, a tiny cloud of uh, uh, water droplets so that is very close to the earth surface so the, the we can call this a low lying cloud and uh, this cloud is mostly influenced by the local weather condition and topography of the land so big, uh, even a slight wind can able to move the fog uh, from a distance so these are the plants they have adapted to those uh, desert condition uh, and so here you can see that they are exposing the uh, only a tiny part of the body to that temperature and here you can see the onaimacris angicularis this is the tenebriod beetle that have uh, the typical morphological feature and also behavioral features that is uh, showing the head down stance and the posterior part of the part is up in the air so that it will exactly stand at 35 to 45 degree so different those are all mostly live in uh, sand condition that's why they are called as uh, uh, ultra samophilus and there are different uh, uh, nearly 17 species belong to seven genera of uh, tenebriods they are uh, uh, they are live in that uh, namibian desert and even though they they they, uh, they have evolved independently not all the uh, tenebriods they have developed a fog basking beetle and here we can be able to see a different types of fog harvesting here uh, one is active fog harvester so they they will have a, that uh, fog stand uh, fog basking stands and they will uh, harvest the water and they will feed on it okay we will see how they will feed on it and second one is opportunistic fog harvester so during their uh, activity they may feed the water on some plants so that way they are surviving in a desert so this is the activity of onaimacris that means during the day time they mostly involved in uh, feeding search of a mate and other activities however the early in the morning from 4 to 6 o'clock they are in a position to harvest the fog actually this is the fog harvesting uh, fog basking position so what the first what they will do so mostly this position is influenced by the presence of foggy condition when there uh, when there is a condition of fog this during night time this beetle lives in a sand and it will come out and it will go to the top of that dune it will go and it will take a that position head has head down stance position then they have typical high, uh, hydrophilic and hydrophobic surfaces like small bumps that small bump is having strong hydrophilic uh, properties that means this aerosols of water they will be attracted and they will be deposited on the elytra of the beetle and that is uh, surrounded by hydrophobic surface so that will repel the water so when this water start depositing on the elytra when it cannot be able to hold that water it will slow down and it will come to the near the head position so that it could able to feed uh, it could able to drink the water this is how the water started uh, condensing it and we when the this is i told a small uh, uh, bump like a structure that is having strong hydrophilic properties that is surrounded by the flat area that is hydrophobic that we can see in case of a lotus leaf that's self cleaning property that will repel the water so when the moisture start depositing on these bumps so it will grow in size because it is having strong attractant capacity that will attract the water and when the water grow in size it could uh, it could not able to hold that water it will slow uh, slide it down and come near the head so that it could able to feed on that water so first stage is the condensation so here the surface so it will attract the fog uh, hydro strong hydrosols of uh, water then they will start collecting uh, the, they will uh, start having coalescence that will bind together 
when they could not able to hold that water it will come down and there will be a absorption so even all the we have told that there are 17 species are there in the the desert condition that uh, not have a same uh, unique mechanism so to study whether these species, any variation in these species they have conducted a, a small experiment in a fog chamber they emulated the natural condition in a small fog chamber and they have studied the uh, fog harvesting uh, efficiency so among that the donemacris singularis is the most potential and it could able to harvest more water per unit surface area so what trigger those uh, those beetle to collect the water so whether it is a temperature alone whether it is a foggy condition alone whether it is a combination of temperature and fog they have tested three different uh, uh, treat, they imposed three different treatments and they it is shown that both temperature with 11 degree with a fog so that all the beetles they will go to that uh, top of the dune and they will pose that fog collecting mechanism so even on the elytra there are different uh, types of bumps are there even that uh, elytra with a grooves may be there and elytra with a bumps so these features they depend they uh, influence the water harvesting mechanism here water collect you can see onemacris i told is the most potential one even with a surface area of 0.72 meter centimeter square area it could able to harvest 0.1 ml of water here per unit area also it is the most dominant one here it's a uh, this is how the fog exposed to the degree of angle and also body surface so when the fog is moving at a uh, speed so this three dimensional view we can see here it's a small uh, sample have more time to deposit on that elytra this is the this is what i told this is the angle of inclination when it is between 35 to 45 degree they have the moisture collected is more in that particular dick again this that uh, droplet trajectory when it is at 32 and 40 40 degree there will be change in that uh, trajectory that means the elytra have more time to uh, deposit that uh, aerosols of water even uh, it has more resident time also arc nel arc length also so why fog basking is important what is the importance of fog basking because when the, in a desert condition we have seen nearly annual rainfall of only in a 20 days and 50 mm of rainfall in a year so they should have certain mechanism to survive mostly those insects are detritivorous they feed on some saprophytic uh, organic matter so that contain uh, hardly 1 to 8% of moisture so they need moisture for survival and they have tested what is the importance of this moisture on the survival of the insect it has shown that the uh, they have starved the beetles for uh, 10 days there will be a gradual uh, reduction in the original weight of the beetle when they provided the water the weight gradually it has increased and even the it is having a inverse relations with the total fat so they are finding also show that when they drink the water it will the excess water will be stored in the fat whenever it is in need of water that will utilize the water in the, uh, dissolved in the fat this is what it shows when they dehydrated for a 10 days there will be a weight reduction after 10 days when they provided the rehydration water the weight is increased to 640 mg total body weight uh, mass also it was a slight variations in the uh, body weight after consumption of water so this excess water will be stored in the uh, as a fat and that having strong influence on the hemolymph volume and also osmotality so as we have told uh, it is like a do or die situation for the insect so they mainly feed on the detritus that contain as i mentioned it's only 1 to 8% of water so they are more mainly diurnal in nature they are active only during the day time so day time when they are exposed to the that uh, high temperature of 60 degree there is more likely chance that they will lose water so they have to take regular water 
so that's why they uh, they have evolution into uh, that fact basking behavior so uh, how uh, we can take a, a what we can tell uh, example of those uh, uh, natural adaptation for the benefit of human kind so the human invention they emulated those structure into a fox acting nets so in the desert they have installed these uh, fox collecting nets and they could able to harvest nearly 100 liter of 100 to 200 liter of water per 40 meter square uh, this fog uh, uh, fog collecting nets so this is the source of livelihood and uh, they could able to convert those desert into a forest area this is a work, uh, water collector the uh, in the beginning i have mentioned biomimetics so we are taking the example of naturally adapted insects plant so we are making into a our human uh, for value that increases the human value here this tower that mimic the termite mound that is installed in a desert and this uh, leaf like structure they have taken a, a properties from a lotus leaf and this structure having the property of this uh, fog collecting net surrounding that mound is from the uh, fog basking beetle and also these webs are from the spider webs this uh, structure could able to harvest 100 to 200 liter of fresh water again the collected water is so pure according to who recommendation that is eligible for drinking and also for human consumption uh, for other human activities so even since the deserts are near to in the the namibian deserts are ne very near to that salty area that salt water we cannot able to consume so these uh, may, uh, animals insects and plants they have developed certain uh, mechanism so that that water can be used for our purpose also and that's how they are surviving this is a small uh, self filling water bottle like they have emulated this feature in a small butter they have uh, if you keep it in a outside for some time they will collect the fr fresh water that is eligible for drinking so this is the application this is how uh, they are developing by harvesting the uh, salt water into fresh water and they are uh, starting a reforestation of that desert area the efficiency as i mentioned a 40 square meter uh, net that will collect nearly 200 liter of water i had a small video about it is not so in uh, summary i can say that uh, this hastens position uh, of fog basking beetle that is having a huge potential especially in the desert areas of africa so this feature we can uh, emulate and we can apply for the benefit of humankind. So it is not the strongest of uh, the species that survives and uh, not the most intelligent. It's the most responsive to the change that will survive. So I will end up with this quote. Thank you. No, no, they won't. Since it's early morning, I told you it's a four to six uh, in the morning. The temperature is uh, less than zero. That's how the condensation starts actually. So once the day temperature, you know, onset of uh, sun, the temperature go reach up to 60 degrees temperature. That's why this fog basking uh, mechanism that only seen early in the morning because of the lower temperature. 